Hi, sweetheart! It is me again, Maisa Kirker, and welcome back to another episode of Crash Baking on New World Tour. It's Baklava Day today, so we're going to Turkey. It is the most popular sweet pastries of Ottoman cuisine. The pre-Ottoman origin of this dessert is unknown, but in the modern times, it is a common dessert of Iranian, Turkish, and Arab cuisines. So please continue watching Sweetheart and know how to make a fellow pastry from the scratch. And of course, know how to make the sweetest and the best recipes of baklava. Are you ready to travel the world, sweetheart? How about you join me and let's satisfy your cravings with the world's best dessert. Only here in Crash Baking on You World Tour. Baklava is a layered pastry dessert made of phyllo pastry filled with chopped nuts and sweetened with syrup or honey. Let's first start to make our phyllo dough or phyllo pastry. Sift 250 gram of flour, then add 50 gram of cornstarch. Mix it with your hand, then add 1 tablespoon of milk powder and some salt. When everything is well combined, now we can add 3 tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. If you want sweetheart, you can use your mixing bowl with hook attachment so that you can win much more time. And for me, I just prefer to knead it by my hands just like the old times. And now it's the time to add the liquid. It's actually a mix of orange blossom water and water. As you can see, I am just using a teacup here and we will be adding like 2 to 3 cups of this one. So it depends on the consistency of our dough. I recommend to add your liquid little by little so we can check and control the consistency of the dough. Of course, if you don't have an orange blossom water, you can just add water itself. But of course, the taste will kind of be different. As you can see here, all the ingredients are starting to come all together, so we're just continue to knead it. So I, all in all, I have added 3 teacups of our liquid mixture, but don't hesitate to add more if you think that your dough needs more water. We are looking for a consistency of a fairly soft and it should come away or don't stick with our working table. Remember that phyllo is a very delicate pastry, so working with it may be a little fiddly, so have patience and dedicate a little bit more time if this is your first go at making it. Using my hands, I have kneaded it around 15 to 20 minutes until it becomes soft and malleable with a smooth feel. When it's all mixed and smooth, wrap the dough in a plastic wrap and leave it to rest at room temperature about 1 hour. After an hour, divide the dough into 10 equal portions, shaping them into smooth ball. Take one ball at a time and roll it into a square. Don't forget to cover with a cloth the rest of the dough that you are not working with so it doesn't get dry. Make sure, sweetheart, that you have added enough cornstarch onto your working table so the dough won't stick to it. Roll out the dough until it becomes a very thin rectangular sheet. The thinner, the better. Set it aside and do the same with the rest of the dough. Remember, sweetheart, to add enough cornstarch to each layer of the phyllo dough. And when all the ball is done, we're going to roll it out again all together and we're going to roll it as thinner as possible. Thank you. 
And voila, sweetheart, our filo pastry dough is ready. And now we can start to assemble our baklava dessert. So we will be doing 5 layers of filo dough at the bottom and 5 layers as well on the top. This filo dough is very thin, sweetheart, so pay attention when you are peeling it off one by one. Place it into your molder and as you can see, I have used here a round model, but you can use whatever shape you want. Then brush it with unsalted melted butter. And just repeat the same procedure until you have reached 5 layers of filo dough. And for the filling, sweetheart, nothing really complicated. You can add any assorted nuts that you want. You can add some dried fruits as well like dates or whatever you have. And then mix it and put on the top of your fifth filo pastry dough. Just want to clear as well, sweetheart, that you can add any number of layers of filo on this dessert baklava. You can go up to 20 from the bottom, 20 on the top. But of course, sweetheart, you have to make sure that your filling is enough as well. So just continue to do the same as before, sweetheart. Add the filo and eat each layer you have to add the butter. Then cut the edges to remove the excess dough. Cut pastry into one and a half wide strips, then cut diagonally to form diamond shapes. Bake at 325 degree Fahrenheit for 1 hour and 15 minutes or until tops are golden brown. You can add some nuts on top of your baklava to give more decoration and appetizing look. This will help also distinguish what is the nuts inside your baklava. Before putting your baklava inside the oven, add some more unsalted melted butter on top of it. Bake until the top of the baklava turns golden and a skewer inserted in the center comes out clean. As soon as you remove the baklava from the oven, pour the hot honey over the hot baklava. Make sure you distribute the honey evenly. Let the baklava cool completely. It is best if you leave it for several hours or at least one hour to allow the flaky filo layers to absorb the honey syrup completely. Then cut through the pieces you marked earlier and serve it. And there you have it, sweetheart, the sweetest, yummiest, and flakiest, best recipe of baklava. I really hope you can try that, sweetheart. And once again, thank you for watching. This is me again, my secret girl, saying, as long as you know how to bake, life is sure to be sweet because life is what you bake it with. And always remember, sweetheart, hand in hand, let's make the world a better place. I really hope to see you on our next episode of Crash 
Baking on You World Tour.